TNGM The Show presents... Talking Nerdy March. Of course, we're going to cover the nerdy stuff that is coming out for April. With your hosts, Pablo Gunner. The Ambassador. And our guest. Special guest. Well, Marvin Goof here. Marvin Goof, yes, who did a Dune 2. He did our... Dune 2 review, Dune Part 2 review to be more specific, and so we are here to talk nerdy to you. We've been doing this, what, like almost 13 years now? Yeah. Right? Crazy. So we are here to waste our time so you don't have to, right? Like we're going to watch everything good or bad that's nerdy, you know, try to play as many things, do as many things, so you don't waste your time. You can save it for the best of the best, Absolutely, right? Yeah. So that's what we're here to deliver on. We're going to go ahead and jump into what's coming out next month uh, for April. The nerdy stuff, the nerdy April movies, shows, games, and all that goodness. So on the first, we have Great Teacher Onizuka Season 1 on Netflix. There's uh, Strawberry Shortcake's Spring Spectacular on Netflix. I'm going to watch that with my girls <laughs> and, and, and cover that. Then we have Star Trek Discovery coming out on the second season five premiere, so I'm sure they're going to do the weekly thing. That's going to be on Paramount+. Plus. Good news. It's the final season. Uh, yeah. We'll see. I, I mean, yeah, I, I watched the first season. I liked it, uh, and I've seen the second. Hopefully this will give me a reason, or I might just jump straight into the final season or get cut up. We'll see. And then there's uh, on the third, there's Wish on Disney+. Plus. That bombed pretty hard, so I'm interested to see how if it's as bad as it bombed. Indeed, right? I've heard I've heard good things, so I'm I'm waiting to watch it and see what I can take from it. So, yeah, yeah, I'm uh, we have Deceit Two. Uh, that game comes out on PS5, uh, Xbox Series XS. On the fourth, there's I Woke Up a Vampire season one on Netflix. I'm pretty sure that's an anime. Uh, then we have Ninjago Dragons Rising season two on Netflix. I'll probably check that out for the kiddos. Then Turbo Golf Racing on PS5, Xbox Series XS, PC. Then on the 5th, there's Monkey Man in theaters. That looks pretty cool. Dev Patel producing and acting. Yes. I need to see this movie. Yeah, it looks pretty <laughs> It looks pretty <laughs> wicked. Yeah. Uh, like it, It's like a martial arts movie, right? But like mm -hmm. with a little mystic thrown it in feels there? Like, it feels like there's more to it than, yeah. They, I don't think they've outrightly shown it. I mean... Like it, assassins. It, yeah. And like it's, it's, it's spies. Like it seems pretty cool. Yes. So... Next is The Beast in theaters. I'm not really sure what that's about. Parasite the Grey, season one on Netflix. So if you know the Paras Parasite from the anime, this is a live action. I think it's a live action version of Parasite. It looks grotesque. Like, it's it's definitely that horror genre, you know, creepy, weird, yeah. And Worst I, uses for my stomach to turn. Green. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. We'll be able to check it out, but I'll definitely try. Uh, then on the 7th, we have Bluey Season 3 premiere on Disney+. Plus. So I'll definitely check that out. Bluey's the greatest. Mm -hmm. Eight On the 8th is Spirit Rangers Season 3 on Netflix. I'll probably check that out for the kiddos. On the 9th, there's Botany Manor on Xbox, Switch, PC. Then Children of the Sun on PC. Uh, Gigantic Rampage Edition on PlayStation, Xbox, PC. On the 10th, we have Fire Buds on Disney+. Plus. Uh, House Flipper 2 on PS5, Xbox Series XS. I know that House Flipper 1 is on Game Pass, so mm. if you want a taste of it, play the first one. There you go. Then there's Inkbound on PC. On the 11th, I'm pretty sure it's the 11th, Fallout on Prime. We're going to we're going to go hard on this. Yeah, well, yeah. I'm going to I can't wait. I'm going to make a shirt. I'm going to make merch that's that shows the vats and everything's like 1% and then it's going to say so you're telling me there's a chance, you know? <laughs> That's that. I'm making that yes. shirt, okay? <laughs> I will make that shirt. You mean not good like one out of a hundred? I'd say more like one out of a million. So you're telling me there's a chance. Even if that's the only shirt we make, it's going to be made. Um... So then there's Let's Revolution on PlayStation, Xbox, Switch. On the 12th, there's Civil War in theater. That movie looks really fascinating, mm. really interesting. 
I, I, I'm really interested in that. Mm -hmm. uh, then there's Woody Woodpecker goes to camp on Netflix. That's new. Even. I didn't hear about this. Yeah. Woody Woodpecker so coming back? Okay. You, you just heard about it. There you go. So then there's Dora series premiere. I guess a new one on Paramount+. Plus. Uh, my kiddos are, enjoy it now, and, and it'll be cool to check it out. So on the 16th, Europa on PC. Then we have Grounded on P PlayStation and Switch. Planet of Lana on PlayStation and Switch. On the 17th, PJ Masks, Power Heroes. Hey. I'll check that out on Disney+. Plus. I put this on for myself, but I feel like other nerds may check it out. And I know uh, Slay J's into it as well, which is on the 18th, Conan O'Brien must go on Max. <laughs> he has like a travel show, and he's going to other countries, and he's just being himself with normal people from other countries. And I can't wait, because I listen to his podcast, and that's... That's where it started, is he talks to people on his podcast, and then so he makes those connections there, and then nice. he's going to actually visit them. So I cannot wait for that. Excellent. I think I'll touch that. On the 19th, the Ministry of Untel Ungentlemanly Weather mm. in theaters, and that is with Henry Cavill, so I'm, I'm automatically down. Like, mm -hmm. I'm, I always want to see him, the Superman, you know, beating people up, doing his thing, and being uh, ungentlemanly. Warfare. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm down for that. We have Rebel Moon. I well, somebody has Rebel Moon Part Two coming out on the Scar, uh, the Scar Giver on Netflix. It's not for me. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you that much. Uh, Fourteen year old me, sure. Mm -hmm. My mind has grown since then. My power has doubled. <laughs> <laughs> but, so yeah. So we'll probably. You know what? You know we're gonna watch it begrudgingly for you, as we say. We waste our time. You don't have to. All right. Uh, oh yeah, Knuckles. The Knuckles show is coming out on Paramount yes. Plus as well, so we're going to make some merch for that. We already have some Sonic, so now I'm going to start making some uh, Knuckles as well. And uh, yeah, it'll be that looks fun. It looks interesting. Idris Elba, right? Yes, absolutely. And so I'm down. It's it's a good time. <laughs> on the 23rd, uh, I I don't know if I'm saying this right, but Ayudin Chronicle 100 Heroes, PlayStation, Xbox, PC. That looks really cool. That looks beautiful. Uh, and then uh, I think it, I've already seen there's like a preview for it on Game Pass, maybe. Nice. Uh, Lunar Lander Beyond, PlayStation, Xbox, Switch, PC. Uh, Tales of Kenzera, Zao, on PS5, Xbox Series XS, Switch, PC. Ooh, TMNT Arcade Wrath of Mutants on PlayStation, Xbox, Switch, PC. I'm getting it. I'm putting out merch for it. Like, we're doing it. We're about it. I can't wait. I even see, like, they made an actual arcade version of it and I, I wish Come I could on. get it but I won't I won't but I wish I could he doesn't and want to get divorced let's face it this is not the worst thing you've caught me doing the, I mean I don't know I just I have kids and they spill stuff accidents happen way too often with three little children but yeah, on the 24th, there's Marvel's Spidey and His Amazing Friends Season 3. There's going to be five episodes coming out on Disney+. Plus, So I'm definitely going to check that out. We're all about that. Uh, my kids and I play games. Like, we play this game uh, called Rhino where I attack them with my head. And then they shoot me with their webs. And it's a good time. And then I break out and attack them again. Um, <laughs> so... <laughs> On the 25th, another Crab's Treasure, Xbox, Switch, PC, Saga, Emerald Beyond on PlayStation, Switch, Mobile. 26th, we have Demon Slayer, Kumetsu no Yaiba, Sweep the Board on Switch. Then Sandland, PlayStation, Xbox Series XS, PC. Oh, Stellar Blade on PS5, we talked about this last month, and it looks awesome, so I'm interested about that for sure. Then we have Top Spin, 2K25 on PlayStation, Xbox and PC. On the 30th, Braid Anniversary Edition on everything. Ooh. Braid's such a beautiful, mm. wonderful game. Yes. If you haven't played it, this is the perfect opportunity. Phenomenal. And then Sea of Thieves on PlayStation 5. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. I don't know if anyone cares, but I'm sure there's some people. So that's that. And that being said, like I said, we talked about some of our merch already of the stuff we're going to be making for you all for next month. I'm sporting our Dragon Ball style shirt talk nerdy to me because of course um, if you've heard Akira Toriyama passed away which is such an uh, such an icon such a legend is of course Dragon Ball but he also did like Chrono Trigger and then he did Dragon Quest games yes yeah, so he he's just like 
It's so crazy when people go, all he did was put pen to paper and how much, right, like drawing and writing and how much people did he affect. There is a generation of nerds because there's, nerds used to be basement dwellers, you know, attic dwellers maybe. Now look what they are. They're the gun show, right? Like, yes. and, and I'm not even one of the big ones. Like, there's dudes that legitimately look like Broly mm -hmm. because of Dragon Ball Z. There's dudes that look like Goku. Like, there's a generation, and then, like, even like you said, the other stuff, like, that he's done, it's just crazy how he's changed, you know, how how I he's changed, obviously, even uh, America, the America's Western civilization, because I know that Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z is massive in South America even, right? Because yep. they came, yeah. they were there before they, they were in, in the States. So, like, they're, they're huge. It's huge everywhere. And it's so crazy, the influence of the guy just made drawings and, and wrote some stuff. And that's it. And it's beautiful, beautiful. Indeed. So if you want to do it, do it. Be inspired by that. And make, let's create. Let's make those stories, right? Absolutely. And inspire yes. people to work out, to do more, to grow, to be better. So, yeah. And then I also got uh, my Azul Beetle pants that I designed. I don't even know if I have these in the store, but I just loved the Blue Beetle movie so much. It spoke to me. I know it didn't speak to everybody. It wasn't really necessarily meant to speak to everybody. I mean, hopefully it, it does to us and then to a certain degree, but I, I thought it was phenomenal. I think it was one of the best things, if not the best thing, that DC's put out in a long time. So, especially if you're not, like, into superhero stuff, I, I think, like, you won't notice a lot of the things, I won't say ripped off, but definitely, you know, we're taking notes from, like, Iron Man, and, and mm -hmm. I mean, there's so much, right? There's so much now. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, what about you guys? Well, I, I mean, that pretty much sums it up for me. There's a lot of good stuff coming out, you know, so... But you got the out. Halo. I did get the Halo shirt right here, so, you know... And we're going to have to hook, we're gonna have to hook him up with the Star Trek, oh, you know? Yes, absolutely. We'll, we'll get that Star Trek merch yeah. out there. We don't have much now, but like I said, we'll start pumping it out. Mm -hmm. uh, so... Yeah, so for sure. We'll, I don't yeah. know, they might just all forget about Star Trek, like how everyone conveniently forgot about Michael and Discovery. <laughs> <laughs> that was the dumbest thing oh, I've no. ever seen in my life. <laughs> it, basically, Michael Burnham, the main character, when they go into the future, they're like, okay, well, we're all going to forget about this character. That's all interesting. That was really, <laughs> like, literally what they said. It was bad. Oh, man. I'll have to check it out. Yeah. I love uh, I I love the main chick though. Oh my gosh. She was also wasn't she also in Walking Dead? Maybe. Yeah, she Maybe. was in Walking Dead. Um but I mean I, I love the first season. I absolutely love the first season of Star Trek uh Discovery. So and I know there's other stuff that's been really good I've heard of Star Trek that's that's out there. What's what's the other one that they have besides Discovery? Uh, I know there's Picard, obviously, which I've yes. heard both good and bad things, uh, but Beyond mostly has been good. Pretty Brave solid. Beyond, yes, Beyond. Brave is New the other World one. is out there, but Brave New Worlds is out there somewhere too. I think, I think, no, yeah, not um, Beyond um, Stranger Worlds. Stranger Worlds. Stranger, that's yeah, the one that's I've the one. heard a lot of good things about. That one's been kind of good. Even that's Lower Decks. Basically, uh, happens before uh, Kirk takes over the Enterprise, and so it's. Uh, Focused on Pike's uh, turn as captain. Okay, sweet. So, and then you're rocking the uh, talk nerdy to me Star Wars shirt. Yes, and and this is like our so this is like our first one of our first shirts, right? Like our stuff's gotten way better. Like we've added like light swords. Are we? You know, <laughs> beam swords. Beam swords. You know, <laughs> but yeah, like there's some legit stuff. Like we have like. You know, the double one, the, 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 the white ones. Like, we have so many different designs that Slay J designed that are just phenomenal. And I, and I feel like I need to get those ones because they're so great. Yes. But, yeah, there's there's so much stuff. So And what's great, too, is so every month we donate 5% of our profits to charity. So help us help them by buying our merch. Mm -hmm. uh, for, for March, it's uh, Center for Reproductive Rights. Um, last month it was Noble. I forget. I know that for April we're going to do Autism Speaks. Mm -hmm. So I've done my research. That's what we're going to cover. That's going to be charity that we're going to be donating to. So please help us so that we can give, get, help them out, right? We want to we make a positive influence on our 
society, on our world, Absolutely, you know? Absolutely, yes. And that being said, I want to give shout outs because the, the people that have po uh, positively helped us as well. Of course, at the top of that list, and always at the top of that list, we have to give out a shout out to our best bud, Atticus, who just continues to grow and get better and do more interesting things on his YouTube channel mm -hmm. as a YouTuber in Vietnam, as a teacher in Vietnam, and just showing us, you know, slice of life, you know, anything, any really anything goes. Like, I mean, now he's covering, he's he did, he's done a deep dive of, of Dune on his, so he, he has nerdy stuff too. Like, we've inspired him to, to do some nerdy stuff on his channel. So definitely check him out. He's one of the greatest. Uh, we have Burn Kenshin, the, the superpower list. Check them out on Facebook and definitely on X. We also added, uh, there's Gone Gold Podcast, Po'Boy Pod, Billy D's, Gmart 8, Pesky Gremlins. They retweet us a lot, so they're awesome. Cinematic Anarchy, Filmmaker Pod, uh, MK Jekyll and Hyde. They're, uh, they're across the board. They do uh, on, oh, online web comics and stuff. Nice. And, and I just yeah. love, I just love the message that they send. Like, they're... Everything that they say is so inspirational, mm -hmm. so definitely check them out. The Film Rage guys, those guys, they they review every single movie, good or bad, kind of like us. Mm -hmm. They waste their time, mm -hmm. so you don't mm -hmm. have to. Mm -hmm. it's, and some stuff is surprising. You'll be surprised. Like Some stuff you're like, oh, I thought that was going to be garbage. They give just enough to where it doesn't feel like completely spoiled, but they'll spoil if they're like, we're going to spoil so that you don't waste your time because you shouldn't. Mm -hmm. Like We have to spoil it so that you you know do that. So they're great. Web Imagine Service, they do music and promote music. Amerame Media, they, they're similar to us, but they're different. Uh, and Riot TV, they do uh, streaming stuff, which is hilarious. Uh, Zarin67. And then newly added is G Nuts of Horror. So if you're into horror, definitely check them out because they do reviews for stuff for them. So that's where you're going to do your get your horror stuff. Like, comment, subscribe, share us. You know, with your friends, your family, your dogs, you know, your pets, whatever. Let's talk. Let's keep talking about this stuff. You yeah, know, get, is... get, uh, yes. Yeah, we're trying to get to 500 subscribers. We're more than halfway there so that we can cover more stuff for you. And, and like I said, like us on, on Facebook and, and help us out. You know, we really appreciate it. We love it. Thank you for getting, uh, where we, where you've gotten us to now on, 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 on everything. We're, we're, we're on everything. We're on X. We're on the threads. We're on Instagram. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube, of course. So, talk nerdy to me. Stay nerdy, planet Earth.